Okay, so let's go over this power strategy one trade. And in order to do that, we're obviously going to start with the actual chart in question. So this is the chart. What we want to do is, um, alongside with identifying the actual trade, what you can also pay attention to is the trend of the price. Where is price actually trending? Is it trending up? Is it trending down? Um, you can look at the MAs. Are they going sideways? Are they trending generally up? Are they going down? And obviously, you can look for trades that agree with that trend. And that's the way we really want to be trading strategy one trades. So pause the video and find the trade. Did you find it? Well, the ABCD that we're going to look at is this one here. So we've got an up move ABCD. So what I mean by up move is from point C to point D, we're looking for price to rise. And therefore, we're going to be going long in this trade. Where exactly are we going to be entering? Pause the video and work it out. So with the entry, as you must know by now through the countless examples we've gone through, we are going to be entering at the 25% mark. We're going to be buying here because it's an up move. We want to go long. And we're going to be going in at 25% of the A to B move from point C. So at point C, when we see price moves up 25% of the A to B move, we are going to be entering. What about placing your stop? Now with all strategy one trades, we're going to be placing our stop below point C. So outside point C, if it's an up move, it's going to be below point C. If it's a down move, it's going to be above point C. What about our break even price? Well, we know by now that the break even price is the 50% move from point C, 50% of A to B. Remember, we're looking for A to B to be the same as C to D. So the 50% mark of A to B is going to be the 50% mark of the C to D because we're looking at an AB equals CD. So at this 50% move, remember what you're taking that 50% move of is the A to B length. And take that 50% from point C upwards. That's the price that you're waiting for in order to move your stop to break even. So at that price, you're moving your stop up to the entry price. That means at that point, we've now preserved our capital. If price does come lower and goes below the entry price, we're going to be coming out at break even, meaning we're not going to be losing anything on this trade. But obviously in this trade, we see that price carries on going up. So where are we going to be exiting this trade? Obviously with a strategy one trade, we are going to be exiting at point D. We're going to be selling because we went long. We bought first. So we're going to sell to get out of our position. And what would be our risk reward here? Well, as with all strategy one trades, because we're going in at set points, we are going to be getting a three to one risk reward because our reward, which is a 75%, is three times the risk, which is the 25%. And therefore, we have a three to one risk reward. So I hope you got that right. By now, I'm sure you're fully understanding this strategy. If you're not, then please go over the previous module and understand everything that I've covered there. It's very, very important that you understand these trade examples. I'm sure you do by now, so let's go over to the next page and we'll go through another one.